Okay, so in the last video, I told you about the basic puzzling mechanics. In this video, I'm going to go through the scoring. So first of all, what's really bad for scoring is letting the wind come along and tearing a board away. Now that's the equivalent of booching a puzzle, and you really, really want to avoid that. Now if you want a nice simple score, and I mean a really simple score, all you want to do is make a short path to the piece at the end, and there you go. You get a fine patch message. Now if you choose to make your path a little bit longer, you can get told you've got a so good. Now, if I try this again, you get a slightly longer path, you get a master patcher. Now, if you really want to go for it, You may even be able I can't quite on this one the way I've built it up. But I just want to try and demonstrate this to you. So I'm gonna take my time and reorganise it. Right, there you go, I just had to swap a couple of pieces around, but if you do the entire board, then you can get this flawless masterpiece. Okay, so there are all the different levels that you can get for you know, extending the number of pieces that are involved. Now, the really big thing you want to concentrate on doing, now this is really, really where you start to get a big score is you want to use all of these grommets okay now obviously the first thing you really want to make sure is that you're connected up to the end so let's just change that around a bit and with a bit of reorganizing oh yeah we're just about there so I'm going to ignore this piece, you can't get them perfect every time. I find I'm normally one or two off. If I try and get all of them, I don't find that it's very good for score. But there we go, got four grommets and just gotten a bingo. So if I just show you that again. This one I've got two grommets. There's a double. There we go, lots of grommets in this one. The board's getting a bit bigger. So I'll just put lots of grommets on here. It's just one final demonstration. There we go, got a nice full board there, just missed a couple of pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five grommets. So there's a donkey. As you can imagine, seven is a bit Vegas, eight is a double Vegas, so on and so forth. So that's it for scoring. 
So the first thing to bear in mind is the number of pieces in your path. And that's your bonus number. The second thing to bear in mind is you know, not booching. You know, don't let that wind sweep things away. But the third, you know, really, really big thing is use the grommets. You know, these grommets are really, really important. They're what your score is based on. You want to include all of them wherever possible. If you miss one or two, it's not so bad, but you want to really get them in. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go on to sort of the general technique and how you should go about learning this puzzle.